Hey guys, so uh, this is my first attempt at a coil gun and uh, this is the project right here. I've been working on the past few weeks and I finally finished it and it works pretty nicely. So um, what you have here is we have the coil gun, the coil itself, we have the tubing, the light gates to measure the uh, speed of the projectile, the projectile itself, and here is the control circuitry. We have a microcontroller, the trigger circuitry, the input output switches, LEDs, an oscillator, amplifier, and voltage multiplier. And here we have the, I don't know if you can see them, yeah, the high voltage uh, electrolytic caps, which are used to deliver the pulse into the coil. And after, the last thing I have here is a uh, UART USB, uh, converter which I use to send the data after to the PC and to see what the speed is etc and some other things so uh, let's uh, let's see a quick demo on uh, how it works and then I'll go through the block diagram and uh, then we'll look at the schematic I'll have the schematic down below in the, the description so you guys can use it if you want to make it so uh, if you are looking for a fun project to make or if uh, you already decided that you want to make a coil gun but don't know where to start, then uh, keep watching. So uh, let's look at a quick demo. So basically what will happen when I press the button, a li red light will come on very briefly and uh, the MCU will trigger the coil. So uh, let's put the projectile in. After which the the light gates will measure the speed of the projectile and the MCU will send the data into the PC so we can see what the velocity of the projectile is. So I'm going to put this uh, small foam pad at the end so the bullet doesn't go all over the place. Let's trigger it and boom. So you can see here that it works. Nothing too dramatic, but whatever. It's fun. It works. And. Um, all right, let's look quickly. Look at the block diagram I have here. So I have the microcontroller that I'm using an at Tiny Forty Three Thirteen. This is the I/O, the push buttons, the LEDs, etc., and the light gates. And uh, I'm sending the data via UART, and I'm using a Java interface. So we'll talk about that later. I'll show you guys how to uh, hook that up, and. Uh, here I have the trigger circuitry. You can see the microcontroller sends a pulse to the trigger circuitry, which uh, discharges, which basically consists of a few transistors to uh, make the, which enable the correct voltages for the MOSFET and uh, which discharges the high voltage capacitors into the coil. And uh, to make that work, we have an oscillator, an op amp oscillator, and an amplifier which goes into voltage multiplication and feeds, charges the high voltage capacity. So a quick bit of theory here first. Uh, imagine this as a cross section of a wire cut like this. And when we have a current flowing through the wire, we have a magnetic field developing around it. And then you can imagine if we place a ferromagnetic projector or something here, it will experience tangential forces around it. So uh, here imagine that this is a wire wrapped like a coil around a tube or whatever and uh, let's take its cross section and uh, you can imagine that with, when we uh, pulse a current through the coil we have uh, all these individual fields developing around the wires and on the bottom it's the opposite side. So in effect that uh, when we have a place a ferromagnetic projectile or whatever on the sides it gets sucked in. So uh, the way we use this with a coil gun is, uh, say we put it on the one side, we activate the coil, uh, it gets sucked in, and what we need to do now is we need to switch off the pulse, we need to switch off the coil, and uh, the projectile flies out with the momentum that it already has. And this is the main issue with the coil gun, is the pulse timing. And there are a few ways how to uh, do this. One of them is just to time the pulse by trial and error to see when the velocity is uh, the best. And uh, another way is, uh, well, if you have a projectile, which is, uh, let, well, let's say it's approximately the size of the coil. And what we can do is put a light gate here. And when the projectile flies in and it's past the midpoint, it will trigger the light gate and switch off uh, the coil, which is a pretty effective uh, way in how to do this. 
So um, now, let's take a quick look at the coil itself. Okay. So um, how do we decide on how to make it? So I, uh, I suggest the first thing that you um, pick is your tube size and your projectile size. They have to match, uh, not too snugly, but you know, so, so it uh, moves through pretty easily. And uh, I got this tubing from a RC model shop for like uh, two euros for a meter. It's pretty cheap and it's really nice and it's really sturdy and the whole size is perfect. Okay, so uh, what coil size and projectile, I mean coil length and projectile length should we make? Well, I read on a website that it should be approximately the same length, the coil and the projectile, and it does make sense, kind of, so um, you can try that. So uh, another thing to consider is what thickness wire to use. Um, well, there are a few things here. I, I'm using a half a millimeter thickness wire, and I've got about 30 meters wrapped around to make this coil. And uh, one thing to uh, consider here is that the thinner the wire you're gonna have, the oh yeah, the more windings you're gonna be able to uh, get close to the projectile, that's good. But the problem is that the more series resistance you're gonna have, that means the higher voltage you're gonna need to uh, get the appropriate you know, energy and uh, current going through the coil. So, um, Another thing is that you don't want to make your coil too big because uh, making uh, making it big means that the windings will be far away from the projectile, meaning that the the magnetic field will be less and less effective the further it is from the center. Okay, and uh, actually, the the bigger the coil, the less efficient it's going to be, uh, and because it's also going to have a bit bigger inductance, it's going to take the pulse you know a longer time until it gets up to that uh, to that uh, voltage that you want it to get. So uh, yeah, here I also have a few holes on the side uh, for the light gates, they're inside the tube. And uh, that's uh, basically it for the coil.